first stage on uh, installing the Betty de Lig uh, curtain rods, basically is what this boils down to, is you, you open up the little kit. It's a question of using either two kits or three kits on a uh, the width of the window. So this is a pretty wide window. Uh, somebody else had done the three line system here, and we're going to leave that in place. So we're going to be setting up this this curtain set a little bit further from the wall. And part of what the Betty de Ligue system allows you to do is there's a couple of ways you can install this L bracket. Uh, you can have it on the wall like this, or you can have it on the wall like this. You get these plastic filler pieces, and you'll notice that there's a, a little seam here, right? So what that allows you to do is you can just snap that off at the seam, and it gives you a little filler piece. So on this particular one, I go and install this on the outer thing. If we were to install it the other way, we just wouldn't break off that little tab, which I broke off on, on this one. So what happens, the other cool thing about this, is if there's little variances on the wall and you're using a metal curtain rod like we're using with this one, we can loosen this little screw and slide back and forth. Now it comes all disassembled in the kit. Occasionally they're going to give you a spare one of these. What this boils down to, sometimes these are different thicknesses. You see how they're different thicknesses. That has to correspond with what thickness the curtain rod you're using, whether you're using a thin one or a thick one. I'm almost always going to use a thin one on here. It'll sit down in there and it's not going to be a problem. It doesn't snap or secure in place with another screw. It's basically just kind of held in by the friction on the rubber. Uh, as far as drilling goes, these, oddly enough, don't come with the screws. You've got to buy those separately. Uh, we have a kit with the IKEA screws I'll show. And then as far as pre-setting these, what you want to do is look for a line at the top of the window here. And then we're going to go over a little bit. We need to be up and away because as the curtains hang, they drape a little bit. And so we want to make sure that we're up and away from the edges of the window. And if you've seen some of my other uh, curtain installation things. Uh, there was one set that I did in a camp trailer, that, which was the stretch wire version. We had an issue with that because it wasn't quite as far up and away from the edges of the window as we needed it to be in order to ensure privacy inside. On this one, because there's already blinds, I, I, that's not as much of an issue, but it is something to keep in mind when you're installing these. IKEA screw kit. Now when we're picking screws out for this, there's a couple of things to look out for, one of which is the width here. We just want to make sure that whatever screw we use, the screw head stops, but the shaft goes through that. And I think because these come from the IKEA store, we're okay. We just we kind of don't want to use the skinniest one. And I, I shoot for the medium screws when we do this, and that way if I need to go wider, I can. And these are a little bit thicker than drywall screws. They give you the little anchors and all that, so we're good to go. As far as drill bits go to get things started, we just want the drill bit to be smaller than the shaft. Not the threaded part, but the shaft inside of here. We want that drill bit to be a little bit smaller than the diameter of what we're working with, or else you're going to have that issue with stripping out holes. For a quick consultation with the homeowner, uh, we, we have to make a, you know, a judgment call on whether we're going to mount here or, let's say, further out. If you can see the residual of the old drywall repairs, you can see where curtain rods have been mounted before, where the bases had been in the past. And so we're actually going to be using an old mounting point. I'm not going to drill exactly in the middle of the old repairs, but close to it. And realize that with this thing has a little slider mechanism, we, we can make adjustments once it's in there another window. Uh, this particular one is doing a double row. So what happens when you buy these at the storage, you can buy the additional hooks and then you, you can put more than one on there. But to get this on, you got to make sure there's clearance at the bottom because it's closed on one end. You've broken it off. And then you just kind of force it around the side. Now, for the ones on the end, it's a little easier. We just uh, basically break, break this off. There's already a seam in there for that. And we, uh, we slide it on from the bottom.
and just make sure it's on there all the way. And there we are. We're installed. We can tighten this down. These tips, when you're buying the curtain rods, they, they have a selection of different styles, so you can screw on there. And that's, generally speaking, the outward one, when we do a double row of curtains, the outward one gets the decorative tip, the inward one just a round thing. And then these are loose enough, or, I mean, you, you can tighten them or loosen them to make it where they're both even. So that's, that's basically how the installation on these things goes.